a review of the NSRI's Pink Rescue Boy program. I am Andrew Ingram and my co-presenter is Bradley Seaton-Smith. The NSRI's public rescue equipment deployment in the form of Pink Rescue Boy emergency flotation was brought to life in November 2017. The idea was born out of the tragic drowning of a 41-year-old father who swam into a rip current to try and rescue his 10-year-old daughter. I challenge any father to say that he would not have done the same thing, even though we know that attempting an in-water rescue without flotation is extremely dangerous. As happens in so many of these bystander rescues, the original victim survived and the rescuer drowned. We now have enough evidence to show that if an untrained rescuer, who is a relatively good swimmer, takes flotation into the water to attempt a rescue, both the victim and the rescuer survive. At March 2022, 1,254 pink rescue boys had been deployed along the South African coastline and at inland dams, rivers and swimming pools. The boys are pink as this makes them both highly visible on the beach or in the water and it differentiates them from the traditionally yellow lifeguard boys. At inception, Pink Rescue Boy rescues were low. This was due to the limited number of boys deployed. In 2018, there were 29 successful rescues recorded, and in March 2022, there were already 26 rescues recorded. This speaks to how the program has matured. One of the key elements of maturity of the program is the improvement of the signage. We've changed the iconography from the first Pink Rescue Boy signs to acknowledge that most rescues are in fact in water rescues. And our advice has changed from do not go into the water and throw the Pink Rescue Boy to the person in difficulty to if you decide to go into the water, call for help and take this Pink Rescue Boy with you. Another factor that has changed is that due to South Africa having 11 official languages, our signage has evolved to reflect the most commonly spoken language for that area. Deploying pink rescue boys to beaches is one thing, but it is extremely important to educate the public through social media, traditional media, and in South Africa in particular, through radio campaigns as to what the pink rescue boys are, how to use them, and to prevent them from being stolen. Engaging communities is key to the success of this program. Our professional instructors introduce safe peer rescue techniques to communities around the country and explain why pink rescue boys should not be played with or stolen. It is extremely interesting to note that most of the rescues where pink boys were used are where rip currents are a major hazard. On the South African East Coast, Cape Vidal, Herald's Bay, Jeffreys Bay, and the Wilderness all have extremely powerful rip currents. This clearly shows that the focus for public rescue equipment should be where rip currents are well known. We have had a number of rescues where untrained people have rescued two others. In this instance, the man had swum out to help the woman on the left and soon found that he too was in danger of drowning. The woman on the right swam to them with a pink rescue boy, which gave all three of them time to rest while they floated before swimming out of the rip and back to the beach. The young man lying on the sand is 18 years old. He survived being pulled approximately 400 meters from the beach at Herald's Bay by a powerful rip only because an off-duty lifeguard swam a pink boy out to him. From November 2017 to March 2022, we know of 110 instances of a pink rescue boy being used to rescue someone. All in-water rescue attempts were successful and no harm has come to any rescuer. The Pink Rescue Boy program in South Africa has matured to become an integral part of public safety equipment in communities. We believe that public rescue equipment is essential 
to public safety in and around water. Not only the original victim, but most importantly, for the rescuer. Our findings are in keeping with peer-reviewed publications, and we welcome collaboration to ensure that all of us work together towards safe peer rescue.